Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's video, you'll learn how to improve the performance of an e-commerce website. So I've got a WordPress site here running WooCommerce. I'm going to show you how to improve the core web vitals on here. So to start with, this site had very mediocre performance. In GT Metrics, it was getting a 63% in its performance rating and its web vitals, particularly the largest content for paint, were fairly poor. I think 3.5 seconds is just too slow for a largest content for paint time. I'll show you how I improve this. And by the end of this demonstration, I was able to bring that up to 100 for its performance rating with a largest contentful paint time of only 401 milliseconds. So that is 0.4 seconds. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I got here. So if all that sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, there's basically three steps to this process. First, we do a hosting upgrade to improve the server performance. Then we do some WordPress optimizations with a plugin to optimize WordPress running on the server. And then we're gonna set up a content delivery network to improve the edge caching on the internet. And with all these three applied, that's how we get to our result. All right, so starting with hosting, this is the typical sort of performance that you might get with trying to run WooCommerce on a lower quality shared host. If we scroll down, the number one issue here is to reduce the initial server response time. So improving the hosting is definitely gonna improve this particular issue. Now I'm not gonna name the actual host that caused this issue because I don't wanna get any trouble, but I will show you where I'm going to move to. So for the example, I'm gonna move this over to Cloudways. This is something I use pretty regularly in my projects. And the good thing here is you can actually try it out for yourself and see if it works for you with a free trial. I've got the link in the description. So just follow that link and hit start free. The reason I'm starting with hosting first is because you can try all kinds of technical and non-technical ways to improve your performance. But if the hosting behind the website isn't good, your effort is just going to be wasted. So I'm going to do this first. Um, you basically just fill that out. You can put a promo code in. At the moment, they've got a Black Friday promo code. If you're watching this um, further into the future, you can use my regular promo code idea spot in here. So just enter that in and you'll get a discount if you decide to continue after your trial. All right, so after filling this out and hitting start free, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and meet you in the Cloudways dashboard. Okay, now that we're logged into our Cloudways dashboard, we're gonna add a server. Let's select our application. We're gonna use WordPress here and we'll give our application a name and our server a name. I'll just call it demo for this demonstration. Now we select a server. I'll use the default DigitalOcean two gigabyte premium server here. This is a pretty good choice for a typical WooCommerce website with a regular amount of traffic. Um, for our server location, we're gonna use New York. Choose something close to your audience. I think for a North American audience, New York will be the best choice here. Once you've selected all that, we go ahead and click launch. Then we'll get a notice here. It's gonna take about seven minutes to set up the server. So let's just come back in a few minutes and we'll continue from there. All right, now our server has been set up. We can see our server details here under our WordPress details here. So these are the access details we're gonna to need to perform our migration. So at the moment, we've got a temporary URL here. We can change this to our custom domain later on. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our artist built online website from the old server and move it over to here and test it. And I'm gonna use the Cloudways plugin to do this. Alternatively, you can just raise a support ticket with Cloudways and they can do this for you. They include one free migration whenever you sign up to Cloudways. But let's go ahead and use their plugin. This is really quite easy. I'm gonna search for Cloudways in the search bar here. All right, after searching for Cloudways, the first result should be the Cloudways WordPress migrator. Let's go and head and install that one. When that's installed, we click activate. There we go, activate. After activating, we'll have our Cloudways migrator in our menu here. All we have to do is put an email address in there, agree to the terms and click migrate. Alternatively, there is a link here to Cloudways support. They'll do it for you, like I said earlier, but let's go ahead and click migrate here. So it's just a case of filling out this form to do the migration. All the details you'll need are gonna be in your WordPress access details on Cloudways. The first one is the URL of the destination. That's that one there. I'll copy that, paste it in there. There we go. Next one is the SFTP host server address. We can get that over here. That is gonna be the public IP here. Copy that one back here, paste that in. There we go. The database name is going to be here as well. In my case, it looks like this and the username is the same as well. So database name, copy that one back here, paste that in. Now the SFTP username and password, we can create that down here, add an SFTP user, create a username and password here. So I'm gonna use Ideaspot and a nice strong password there. Let's hit submit. I might save that in as well. All good. Now we can use the copy icon here and here to copy that username and password into the username and password here. And the rest of this, I think we can leave this on default. Let's go ahead and click migrate. 
Just going to close that one and it's going to validate our details and go ahead and do our migration. And as we can see, it's being migrated to Cloudways from IDSpot Online to our temporary Cloudways address here. So we just have to sit back and wait for this to finish. So this will take a few minutes, depending on the size of your site. This is taking about two or three minutes to get to this stage. I'll come back when this is finished. All right, once the migration is complete, you'll get this message here. Now we can actually check. We've got a copy of our WordPress site now over on our Cloudways temporary address here. It's worth going through the pages and just double checking to make sure all the pages are working as expected. This looks just fine. So once that's been done, we can go ahead and connect our domain over to the new server, enable SSL and do a bit of extra config. So that's what I'm going to do now. So back in our Cloudways panel under our application details, we can go to our domain management on the menu there. And we're going to add a domain here. The one we're using for this demo is IdeaSpot Online, and we're going to add that domain there. It's going to add that in. And there'll be a message here that says the DNS records for the domains must be set to the server's IP for this to work. So we'll get the server IP. I believe that's under access details here. And let's go ahead and copy that server IP. It should just be here. There we go. Public IP, that's the one we want. And our domain is hosted by Namecheap. Uh, but wherever your domain is hosted, uh, you have to change the IP. Uh, to your Cloudways IP. So in Namecheap, your domain list, choose your domain, IDSpot Online in my case. Under Advanced DNS, we can find our A record is pointed to the IP address. So let's change that to our Cloudways IP, save that in, and then let's head back to Cloudways. And what I wanted to do on our domain management, also wanted to set this as our primary domain as well. So as primary. And now we just have to wait a few minutes for the DNS servers to change over to the new IP address. This usually takes 15 minutes to half an hour generally. So let's just come back a little bit later uh, when this is completed. And after a few minutes, this should be done. If you want to double check that everything is completed, you can go to dnschecker.org, put in your domain name and just check that the IP address is hitting the new Cloudways IP address, which it is doing just fine there. So that looks all good. Next thing we should do is add the SSL certificate here. So we can use a free Let's Encrypt certificate here, put an email address and our domain name in here. So we just pop those details in there, hit install. Wait a second while this installs. Now that that's installed, you'll get a message here about when your SSL will expire and you've got a auto renewal automatically turned on here for your SSL certificate as well. That looks all good. And then let's go ahead and look at our application settings. I just want to check Varnish is turned on. By default, that should be on. If it's not, go ahead and enable it. That'll improve the caching for our site. Now let's log into our WordPress site and set up our WordPress optimizations here as well. So we'll go to our admin panel here at um, wp-admin and our login and our password is going to be exactly the same as it was on our old server. So we can go ahead and log in. In our dashboard, we can actually see our object caching is connected already. Let's head over to plugins and we can actually see by default, uh, Cloudways has a plugin called Breeze. We want to activate Breeze. This is Cloudways WordPress optimization plugin. So that one is the default one you get on Cloudways. Now there are lots of optimization plugins for WordPress. Now it's recommended to restrict yourself to just using one of them. So in this case, Cloudways use Breeze, but on other hosts, you might want to use a different one. Uh, Super page class for Cloudflare is quite good on, um, if you're managing your own hosting, I've had good results with that one. Um, W3 Total and WP Supercache are other popular ones as well. Lightspeed Cache on Lightspeed Hosting is an obvious choice as well. But let's go back to Breeze and let's check out the settings here. All right, so under our basic options in this version of Breeze, we can pretty much leave all this as default, but we can add some improved optimizations if we go into file optimization here. So here we can do a lot of options that will improve our web vitals, such as our cumulative layout shift scores, improving our first input delay time, and removing some of those render blocking elements as well. So um, generally what you'd wanna do is just test these uh, one by one on a staging website before you go live. But um, I know on this website, all these things work fine. So I'll turn HTML minify on, CSS minify on, inline CSS, combine CSS, uh, minify the JavaScript, inline the JavaScript. And I want to um, delay all the JavaScript here. Um, there are different ways of doing this. You can actually uh, choose specific JavaScripts to move to the footer or specific JavaScripts to defer. But in my case, this website works fine if I um, just delay all JavaScript. But yeah, you need to test this, um, preferably on a staging site rather than on a live site. But um, I've tested this before and these settings work pretty well for 
with this actual setup. So uh, once I've set all those, I can actually just check my website, just make sure it's all working just fine. I'll just do that now. So it all looks like it's loading fine here. Next step, probably check in an incognito window because the logged in user isn't going to be cached. So this is going to be a cached user. And we can see uh, all this looks like it's pretty good as well. So um, this is loading up fine. Let's go ahead and run some GT metrics tests now that we've done our changes. So let's go ahead, ID spot online, and let's analyze this again. So here we go, this is much better. We've got an A, the performance is 100, so we've optimized it very well in terms of its uh, structure. And our largest content for paint is way down at uh, less than one second, so 662 milliseconds. So that is good, all those are perfect now. So I, I quite like the improvement that I've got here um, through doing those steps. If we scroll down, the only significant improvement is user content delivery network. We can actually do that. We can actually add a Cloudflare Enterprises content delivery network onto here if we like, if we all really want to push that score as far as we can. So let's add Cloudflare Enterprise here. So back on our application settings for our WordPress install here, let's go down to Cloudflare there. We're going to add Cloudflare Enterprise. That's just the case of entering our domain here and here. Clicking enable. And now we just need to add some CNAME records to our DNS. So that's just a case of adding CNAMEs for at and www and pointing them to secure cloud waste cloud. So we can copy those. I'm gonna go back to Namecheap in our DNS manager in my case here. Let's remove the A record pointing to the IP address. We won't need that one anymore. And we are gonna add a CNAME record for at pointing to secure cloud waste cloud. And we want to change the www one to also point to secure cloud waste cloud. Let's go ahead and save all those on. Again, changing the DNS records here, it's going to take some time for this to propagate. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and check. So it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and just double check, see if this is all live on Cloudflare. So that looks all good. Heading back over to GT metrics, let's retest this again. Now bear in mind, we're already pretty quick. So I don't expect a major improvement, but let's go ahead and see if this has made much of a difference. So I'm gonna reanalyze this. All right, so now we're down to 401 milliseconds. So a little bit of an improvement there. The structure is now 99%, so nearly perfect. Um, all the other issues now are now low impact issues. So I'm pretty happy with this overall. We can see we've got a little bit of an improvement um, by adding Cloudflare Enterprise there. Now we'd notice that um, on my previous video on Cloudflare Enterprise, I'll put that up in the corner, uh, we'll see really um, more pronounced improvements where the server is further away. You'll notice our server is in New York. This is testing from Vancouver, not very far from New York, but if we were testing from somewhere like Hong Kong or Sydney, we'll get uh, even more notable improvement when we add that Cloudflare Enterprise. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, now that we've covered our performance optimizations, let's talk briefly about Cloudway's specific performance benefits here. So they do have Varnish server-side caching automatically configured for WordPress. And Cloudway's implementation of Varnish includes some pretty interesting features like GeoIP device detection and ignore query string. I'll tell you a little bit about what these features actually do. So GeoIP detects which country your visitor is from. This is particularly useful if you have multiple languages of your website. So if you have an English version of the site, it will detect if they're from an English speaking country country and serve from the cache and the English version of the site. If they're from an Arabic speaking country, they'll get served an Arabic version of the site from the cache. That's obviously going to save server resources and improve performance. Device detection, very similar. It detects the user's device. If they're from a mobile device, for example, they'll get served the mobile version of the site from the cache automatically. Um, ignore query string. That is for uh, like social media sites like Facebook that add a query string to the URL. Sometimes that uh, query string tends to break the caching and uh, increases the load on the server. Uh, this automatically ignores that query string and makes sure that all your visitors get high performance from your caching solution. Next up, you've got your WordPress optimizations tailored to Cloudways hosting stack using the Breeze plugin. So it's really nice to have the WordPress set up automatically configured to be optimized for your hosting. You can actually, on other hosts, you can get your own uh, WordPress optimization plugin, but then configuring it to match your own hosting specifications, that can be a trial and error, time consuming process. This is really quite simple to set up uh, once you've got a plugin that's automatically configured to match your hosting. So I quite appreciate that feature. 
And then we've got the content delivery network, enterprise grade content delivery network through Cloudflare. That is just um, a small additional cost. For example, $5 for one website, you get enterprise grade content delivery. Um, this is not something you get on many web hosts. So I quite appreciate that additional feature. I have covered this specific feature in a previous video. So I'll put that video up in the corner if you want to check that one out too. Okay, for our conclusions, we did an example of optimizing the speed and performance of an e-commerce website. And the hosting upgrade was probably the most significant improvement factor in our example. Um, improving that slow server response time did the most uh, to improve our core web vitals. Uh, WordPress optimizations and the content delivery network are also key factors to making sure you're getting top quality performance. If you want to follow the method I used in the example, there's that link in the description. You can get that free trial from Cloudways and make sure you check for those coupon codes as well in that description. If you've been thinking about trying to optimize the performance of your e-commerce store or your WordPress site, that free trial is a nice way to test it out and see what improvements you get for yourself. But let me know what you think in the comments. Any questions, just leave them down below. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.